Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about this loading screen and this upcoming promotion in FIFA Ultimate Team this Wednesday. We're going to talk about it today because it was just released. The loading screen came out today. I want to talk about all the colors that's going on in here, talk about all of the potential things we could see with this promo. Again, right now, we are ending Team of the Season. Team of the Season is done, all right? It is done for. No more TOTS cards in packs. Ultimate Tots are in rewards still for this week, um, but that's it for Team of the Season as far as we know it. Um, we're going to talk about the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed SBC because we got jebated with that code on Friday um, when Footwatch released the code and then the SBC never came. So that caused some market movements. And then we're also going to talk about a start of the week in league sell-off and other stuff going on in FIFA as well. But the main thing I want to talk about today and the main thing everybody wants to know about right now is what is this promo what is this promo summer heat this is a brand new promo to fifa ultimate team um i did some research trying to find some other stuff it looks like there was a promo in summer showdown uh or called summer Sh showdown that was a part of fifa mobile but that promo like had nothing to do with um it was actually like an extension of team of the season and i don't think that's what's going on with this just because of the colors that is going on here but summer heat a lot of people have been talking about what they see in this loading screen and it makes sense that this could be uh, basically footies from last year with the re-released cards now is this footies i don't think this is actually footies because i feel like ea was going to try to milk their game over the summer as much as they can that this might be the part of the summer where we have the cards that are released back into packs like a you know headliners um ffs cards maybe some um like team of the group stage team of the season cards because if you look at this um loading screen you got a lot of colors going on here and it's kind of like splash right you've got a pink color kind of like the ffs cards had that pink glow to it of course you've got some yellow in here which there's a lot of cards that have yellow and gold in this game again you've got orange as well which could be attributed to the headliners or man of the match cards those are orange uh and then you have some blue you've got some blue in here as well which is kind of like this, this color scheme down here looks very similar to like a team of the season esque card design with the blue and with the gold and with the yellow. And then, you know, I don't see any green in here, which is quite interesting because there's no like foot birthday, I guess, kind of stuff. I mean, there's a little bit of green right here around the R and the H, but um, I would assume that the way that this loading screen looks, this kind of to me looks like we're getting a re release special card promo in FIFA. A lot of people have been asking me, are we going to get new special cards during this promo? Like, are we going to get new items? To be honest with you, EA knows this. A lot of the hype for new special cards that come after Team of the Season, it's really kind of dead because you've already set the bar so high with all of these TOTS cards. Like, look at th these stats and these ratings that we've been used to seeing come out in the past five, six weeks on FIFA. 90s in multiple stat categories. You know, they're even doing weak foot boosts. I mean, club 90s, like the stats they've been putting on these cards. You're not going to see other cards higher rated for these players. Like, a, there's probably not going to be a summer heat promo where you get like a 98 Aubameyang. Like, that, that's not really a thing. What I think this summer heat is going to be is going to be a re-release promo where they're going to be putting uh, old cards that were in packs before back into packs which makes opening packs kind of fun but it's also kind of dead content i guess you could say because if you think about it we just had all these tots cards that are in packs and they're like bro if you pack a tots card like you're getting a really really good card and it's a dub most of the time but you know like let's say you packed ffs lataro martinez instead of the tots card how hyped are you going to be for this card instead of the tots you know you might be kind of hyped for it but to be honest, there's a better card than this version that you are just packed and you're kind of like, eh, right? So that's kind of the issue with this stuff throwing back into packs. It's not fresh, it's not new, but it's a way that EA can kind of drag out the summer and try to get as most the most interaction and the most content with their game as possible. So again, is this going to be a new promo with new special cards? Maybe some objectives. I don't know. We'll see if Footwatch tweets out or if the code uh, puts out any other special card, like if there's a new card type added to the game. If there is a new card type added, I would expect that to be SBC related or uh, objective related mostly is what I would expect 
um, for a lot of these. Now, of course, these objectives are still in here, like this Grealish is here for another seven days. Rafinha is still here. Uh, Evander is still here as well. So those objectives are not going away anytime soon. But um, another interesting thing is we got David Silva's. Um, this is a premium squad building challenge, David Silva. So it's not a flashback. It's a premium squad building challenge. And again, the color of the loading screen kind of has some similarities to this card, but I don't think the whole promo is just going to be based around like premium squad building challenge cards. I don't think they would do that. And there's only, we've only had a very select few of these cards this year. So again, I really feel like what this promo is, um, is a re-release of special cards on the market. What is that going to do to those cards prices? Well, we saw it last year, right? Let's take a look at some examples from FIFA 19 team of the weeks that were re-released. I think that they called it like best of, or like during footies, they just started releasing all of these cards back into packs, right? Like let's look at foot birthdays from last year. They released these cards in segments back into packs. And you can tell when that happened that these cards dropped a ton because there's less hype at the end of the year. And it just kind of happened like this, right? So after team of the season, this bail card just kind of going down. It's July. Not a lot's going on. And then bang, he goes back into packs again and he absolutely tanks in price. There's probably some better examples that were more a quicker sell-off um, from them being still being kind of usable. Like here again, man, right at the end of July, the foot birthdays kind of went back into packs. At least some of them did. And you saw a big time drop in price. This happened with a lot of special cards last year. Like, look at this, man. Look at, look at this June, the end of June. Bang, 380, boom. Look at that drop. Crazy. So, um, you know, that's the type of drops you're going to expect on these cards if they do re-release past specials be bad because think about think about how cheap cards have become since tots cards have been released right you can get a cracked out crazy center back like this marquinhos with ridiculous stats um compared to all the rest of the special cards in the game this guy's 200 000 coins right some of these moments icons this rio moments rio right there's like 1.1 1.2 million coins after being like 2 million coins and like 1516 for most part of the year. Some of these icons, like Prime Blanc was a million coins, like during, you know, almost during foot birthday, right before foot birthday, this guy was like a million coins, I think. Uh, you know, Rykard was at a million point of coins at some time this year. He's now 180K. So a lot of the market has died already just because of FIFA 20 being the year of supply, right? A year of supply on the market. Cards have so much supply this year. They're going to get even more supply with the um, the release of this promo, in my opinion, if it does go the way that we are planning it. So that's kind of the way that I think this, this promo is going to act. It's going to go. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because what else is there to talk about? It's purely speculative right now what this promo is going to be. But again, this is the silver lining around the whole thing. EA is trying to keep their audience engaged with FIFA because they know TOTS is ending. And um, they got to keep people involved somehow because they got to try to still make some money on their game. This is like the dead time for their game. They tweeted out a few things that are going to be happening um, this summer, um, which was kind of interesting to see the stuff that they are planning this summer. Of course, they tweeted out that the 17th of June stuff was going to be happening. But check this out as well. And this is where I think the ultimate team of the season guaranteed um, pack code comes in because if you did not realize we do have the ultimate tots sf player so a, a player from ultimate tots the guys that were in packs last week and the guys that are in reward picks again this week we got this sbc added to the code today and ea kind of gypped us with it right ea kind of gypped us and they didn't put out the sbc today so we'll talk about that in a second but i think this event fifa esports pros playing fifa with the best fifa streamers um, starting June 15th, which I believe is Monday, June 15th, which is a Monday, the 15th and, and 16th on Twitch rivals, uh, Twitch page. It's going to be something that's going to ha happen with FIFA and Twitch. And I think this, uh, pack right here might end up being a viewership reward for that event. They did that earlier this year with the guaranteeing any foot birthday player. I think is what it was. They had a pro event and they had a guarantees any foot birthday player pack right and we're like man we're gonna get this spc and then boom they put in the code they debated us and then it came out as a reward from that event that could be the exact same scenario that we see here with this if not then maybe this does come out as an spc but 
getting to the market side of this, high rates today went for a wild, wild ride. Take a look at this, the index 86. I wish there was like an index 87 through index 90 on Footbin. Because look at this, man. The, the pack code came out yesterday, right? This is when the pack code came out. We go from 149 all the way up to 176 points on the index 86. Now we're back down to 157 uh, because people knew this SPC did not come out and they sold some of those high rated. Now, I would expect the normal rise from like 148 to 157 because of the SPC that we got today, which was the David Silva premium and David Silva uh, regular, I guess you would call it. The David Silva um, premium SPC version. So this is the premium premium for the 97 David Silva, which I think a lot of people would still go out and do. Three, that card right there, 300K SBC, not terrible value. Three-star weak foot hampers it a little bit. But if you're a City fan or if you're just a fan of Premier League football, David Silva has been a mainstay for so long that I think a lot of people are going to just maybe do this SBC. People have untradables in the club, right? So this is another way that EA can take some of those untradables out of the club uh, and make people interested in doing an SBC like that. But anyways, regardless, people bought a lot of the high rated today. If you sold into the hype, GG's, because a lot of it started going down because again, the SBC did not come out and EA kind of fooled us with that one right there, which is interesting that they decided to do that today. So other market movements that we saw today, besides the big summer heat, you know, news, and we're going to get another promo, which again, I keep thinking it's weird that it starts on a Wednesday, right? Weird that it starts on a Wednesday. Not sure why they're doing that. I don't think it has anything to do with team of the weeks because team of the weeks are supposed to come out on the 24th of June. So that would be one week after what this new promo is going to start as. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but one thing I can tell you guys is a lot of cards are inflated and very high on the market, especially from where they were at earlier in the week this week. One I think of specifically, Hyunmin Sun's TOTS card. This guy was 865,000 coins on Sunday and Monday, and my dude is now over 1 mil. And a lot of these cards are going to hit their highest price point tonight into Saturday, right? I'm recording this Friday night. Friday night into Saturday is going to be the highest price point for a lot of these cards. They rose up even more today. Um, I sold some hours yesterday and I sold them too early, to be honest. I sold them at like 280,000 coins and he is now almost 300K. Um, he's almost 300K. He basically is 300,000 coins at the moment. So if you held on to your Thursday flips or if you have anything in your club that you want to sell, I think I would take the cash on that. If you don't need it for Weekend League uh, or if you can get by without it for Weekend League, I might take the cash because this would be your optimal time to sell that stuff um, before we head into the promo week. Now, some people have asked me, is there going to be a Weekend League sell-off? I still think there's going to be a Weekend League sell-off across the board because people are going to be knowing that their yes is a promo coming. And even if they re-release -re special cards back into packs, you're going to have people that sell team of the season cards that sell cards on this game in order to take part in whatever the new content is. You best believe that there's going to be SBC content. There's going to be some sort of probably object objective content as well, because EA has been doing what I think a good job with that stuff this year. So I do expect a weekly sell off. Some people have told me they don't think that it's going to happen because they, they, they think people bought their end game teams, which there is some valid validity to that. People did buy their in-game teams, but I also think that people in this game of FIFA, they live for menu content, and you can just see that every day with the market movements, the amount of, of, of uh, coins that some of the higher rated card prices go up just for an SBC, and even just for a code being tweeted out about a potential SBC, you see cards going up a crazy percentage. Um, I think people just are living for the menu content in this game because it's what brings them the most fun. The weekend league playing this game does not bring them fun or enjoyment. So they have that fun on the menus, um, which I think is going to cause some weekend league sell off again, just because people need to get their coins and because you have to have coins to do stuff in this game. Now, if you are broke and you're like, man, I'm broke. I don't have any coins for this, this summer heat promo, whatever's going to happen for footies. I got to trade a little bit. Good news is trading is going to be OP because there's still going to be people on this game. People are engaged because tots um, happened at a time where a lot of people were at home because of quarantine. Some people are still at home. Stuff is not opened up, you know, regardless of where you're at in the world. Everything is different based on what's going on with, with 
with the, you know, opening back up and restrictions and quarantine and stuff like that. So that's all different for everybody. But um, there's still people that are interacted and still people playing this game. Even after the TOTS rewards go out from Weekend League, people are just in a FIFA mojo right now. They're in the FIFA mood, right? For the past month and a half, they've been grinding this game, right? You could have started an RTG with nothing on it, and you probably could have grinded to a team with multiple TOTS cards in it just because of the SBCs and just the grindability of this point of the year and the how easy it is to make coins as well. It's very, very easy to make coins during Team of the Season because of all the content that does come out. So that being said, if you do need to trade this week, I mean, there's going to be plenty of options, weekly sell-off and stuff. There's probably going to be a little bit of panic on out-of-pack special cards, maybe some FFS cards from this year's teams that will be panic sold a slight amount just because of people thinking, hey, if this is a re-release promo where cards are going to be re-released, then you might see some panic on some of those. Um, if we look at some FFS cards that are still very popular at this stage of the game, um, you know, Renan Lodi is still very popular. Valverde still got some popularity to him. Ikone, you know, some of these guys just, they, they fit a position and they fit a um, nationality or a league where that position is kind of rare, right? So this is the best version of Jao Felix that we have in this game. Could Jao Felix get a footies card? Yeah, sure. He could get a 95 rated footies and that'd be sweet. But for now, this is not footies as far as we know. This guy was 580k last week. He's now 627. You know, maybe he drops down to like 550 on Sunday night, goes back up to 580, 590. You make a little bit of profit just from a quick flip um, on some of that kind of stuff. Fluctuation trading is still absolutely going to work um, with a lot of cards that are out of it. Although I would be a bit careful with these until we figure out what's going to happen with the promo on Wednesday, you might want to lay low and honestly trading with team of the season cards is going to be fantastic as well because these cards are so cheap. They're so affordable and viable for most people on this game, right? Look at all the cards look at the type of card that you can get for a hundred K, right? A lot of these cards are going to fluctuate up and down in price um, from the main leagues, especially I mean, again, Halan, this guy was 485 before Weekend League. He's now, he was 580 earlier. Royce is up a bunch. Havertz is up 60,000 coins. He was he was 200,000 coins flat. These cards are continuing to bounce up and down, and that's going to continue happening for the rest of the year because they're, they're getting more rare as people leave the game and they have these cards in their clubs, and these guys are not in packs anymore yet. So these cards are going to fluctuate because that's what people are using right now. That's what's hype. So just kind of remember that if you're trying to trade and then check out the other trading videos on the channel. You can still chemistry style trade with shadows, with hunters, shadows, especially work well at this stage of the game. And you can still trade with silvers for league SBCs, especially if they re-release a bunch of cards back into packs. Trading with league SBCs is going to continue to work because people love grinding SBCs this year, whether they're doing, you know, like a league SBC or they're doing like the, um, these two, the, the Sud America and Libertatores, the, the Lib Sud method, I think is what it's called. People grind these all the time. Like some people, when there's nothing else to do in this game, they just grind these because they go out, they complete the SBC, they get a fodder player, they go and turn that into a, another SBC, and they just open the packs and try to hit something big. And especially if we have a bunch of cards in packs, um, you know, it's kind of it's kind of fun. If you remember back last year to when they had the best of when they re-release cards, it's kind of fun because you can open a pack. You might get like an 86 rated inform as the player on the front of the pack, but you might have two or three other special cards behind it. And that those quick sell for 10K, right? So there is some value for coin to be said for that end of the year time frame, just because of the potential to pack special cards, which is fun. But again, they got to put good cards back into packs and, you know, build some good content around it to make an interesting promo. At least that is how I so again, weekend league sell-off is going to start happening today. Yes, I do think you're going to see a sell-off. Good luck with your weekend league games if you are playing. Do I expect, expect any other content today? I really don't. I really do not expect any other content coming today from FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I was kind of surprised that we got this David Silva SBC anyway. Um, this is a GG, but I'm kind of surprised that we did get it. Something to kind of keep us involved until Wednesday, I guess. Uh, it's something EA wanted to do for us today. So be on the lookout. For SBCs or something related to that Twitch Rivals thing, um, if you want to check out Twitch, my Twitch link is down below. I do live stream there multiple times per week. It's just like me talking to you right now, 
but I'm doing it live and you can actually talk to me in the chat. So it's really fun. Check that link in the description. Uh, and yeah, boys, if you enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts about the summer heat upcoming promo. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.